Hey guys, I am Jay and this is Football Talk and in this one I will be reacting to another college football update and this one we got new gameplay info leaks for EA College Football 25. Man, I'm super excited. This, was it last? I mean this, um, I'm sorry. This has been crazy, man. The trailer came out, well like the Caesar trailer came out and then we got some info and it's just been like a lot of excitement and I'm glad to see it. I've seen a couple of reaction uh videos also to it so like it seems like a lot of people are super pretty much everybody's super excited um we got some that's like ah it's gonna be like madden but it's never played like madden before so you can nitpick all you want but college football is his own thing so without further ado though let's jump right into this more news about ea sports college football 25 we're gonna talk mostly gameplay today and we also have a little bit of information on some game mode stuff and please excuse my audio if it doesn't sound as good as normal i am on a video vacation right now but this news dropped and i thought some news might drop so i did want to bring my travel equipment with me just in case so i could get you guys updated as quick as possible but if it sounds a little bit janky and not as crisp as usual that's why this is somewhat of a leak this isn't straight from ea but ea is going to be released oh it's a leak information in the coming weeks as we lead up to the release of the game in july they're going to be going over gameplay and modes in depth over the next few weeks so make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't yeah and you know your boy is going to be reacting to that Still trying to get over my little fever, by the way. We could literally hit that number in a few days. Now, the news today for EA Sports College Football 25 is coming from none other than Mike Straw. Now, if you've been around my channel for some time now, you've heard me talk about Yep, I, I definitely remember uh, him. Usually Madden related leaks, but now that EA Sports yeah. Football is another game being Yeah, I remember him a couple of videos with the Madden, uh, when Madden 24 came out. Whoa, what's coming out? Today. Now keep in mind this guy has always been right at least as far back as I can remember if he says something about the game It's legit. It's in the game He was the one that leaked the passing system for Madden 23 a few years ago for example Now this might kind of go without saying a little bit But he did say that there's gonna be a heavy emphasis on the option in this game and I mm, game, so that's Yeah, I, game, yeah, but he said that there are lots of new animations for the options for the pitches Oh He also mentioned that teams that run the option predominantly will be better at it they will be faster at it oh i like okay i like that i like that right there this game is making it a faster paced game much like real life it's going to noticeably be faster than madden but especially when it comes to the different options and the pitches and all the different trickery the triple options and the motions you're going to notice this is going to be faster and especially from the teams that are built to run this you're going to notice that difference and it's going to be a little bit harder to stop versus a team that maybe doesn't run it that often he said you're going to immediately feel the quickness in the way that the old line blocks and the ways that the qbs and the running backs react there's going to be i guess a lot more urgency when you're running the option plays because things do have and that right there um kind of proves it that it's going to be its own thing like the player models there may imagine but not too many player models you can do unless you go with the skinnier versions and stuff like that but yeah, like like I remember the back in the day, the NCAA, they always play faster. You always see things that are like, what that that actually happened? Like you always see the crazy, the crazy fun plays in college football and in the college football game. So makes sense so quickly on those types of plays he also mentioned that there's going to be a lot of unique playbooks with a bunch of different plays and formations that we haven't seen in madden and that won't be in madden because college offenses are a lot crazier than nfl offenses moving on the next thing that he touched on was the difference in five star players versus the lower mm. you will notice a difference between a oh this is interesting and a two-star athlete on the field he also said that the powerhouse teams will noticeably be harder to beat you'll be able to tell that they have more of those four and five star recruits what he said was supposedly from what he was hearing from his source at ea he said that five star players will react and move differently than two star players they'll be able to make i like that animations let's say for example this is just me oh that's what's up they'll be able to get some different animations maybe than the lower level players and this is something that i think madden has not ever really done a great job with sure you notice the difference i mean they got a yeah a little bit that it should be 
especially when you consider wide receiver and DB matchups, the lower rated cornerbacks on a lot of plays will still keep up with those high end route runners. And I don't think we're going to see. Yeah, that is true. If you've got a four star or a five star receiver lined up on a two star cornerback, you're going to notice the mismatch, and he's probably going to abuse him. He's probably going to be able to. He's get definitely going to get cooked. On him that the DB might just have a really tough time going against. Hey, how's it going? Just got a new shipment in here from YouTube. As you can see, I'm so excited to open these. And of course, we'll know more about this as EA breaks it down Excuse me. in the coming weeks. But I do think this is something we should notice and we should want to see out of the game because when you're building up those lower level teams, you want it to be a challenge when you go up against these harder teams. You want your two well, <clears throat> to not look like that is true. But there are going to be people that are going to be like, man, this challenge is too hard. Oh, I want to play. Oh, this is. This is the worst thing ever. Hey, sucks this and that. Yeah, you're going to get those two. Like five star players on the field just on the just be just be wary. On, he said that this game will have plenty of new animations that are specific to only college. He said that even though the game mm. is so Madden, that they have done everything they can to make it feel as unique and different as possible. I like that right there. That there will be certain animations that are also allowed here that maybe might not be allowed in Madden because EA has to, and I quote, make Big Daddy NFL happy, which we all know that. Now, he didn't say specifically. Yep, this the no fun league. example that I came up with here. And again, we don't know that this is the exact thing that's in the game. But an example would be in Madden, the helmets cannot pop off of players anymore. Or certain big uh, are allowed the same way they were in older games because the NFL does not like that. However, I don't know about the pop off helmets. See helmets getting knocked off because they don't Maybe. Have that bigger entity to really answer to. And he said, although that would be cool. Of the same animations, you're going to see a lot of different. I never really saw like hundreds and hundreds the different the um that are not in Madden that some you won't see in med you're gonna have a lot of one foot the helmets pop off in ncaa game have a lot of different animations with different option style offenses but even aside from that i do think they're gonna try to make this game as unique as possible that's i mean that's what they told him at least so there's probably gonna be even maybe some different tackle animations in there yes they're gonna have same ones that you see in madden as well they're not just gonna do away with those but they're gonna add more on to it to try to make this game feel as different as possible and he said from everybody that he has talked to at ea and of course we have to wait and see to really know but he said the game definitely feels different than Madden. While it has its similarities, it's going to feel unique and not an exact copy and paste with just college teams. He also went on to talk about the wear and tear system that is going to be one of the bigger focuses for games. Mm. So you're going to have to manage your players or they will not perform up to their ability. He said, I like this right here. This right here is was one of my favorites. Online play where the quarters are much shorter. So this is going to be a bigger deal for like dynasty mode players. Now an example he gave was that if you have a backup running back early in the game who breaks off a 75 yard touchdown and then you try to just kind of overuse them and just turn them into a workhorse despite the fact that that's not his typical there are going to be a lot sorry for pausing there are going to be a lot of people complaining about this right here i can already see it right now they go off for for uh a 85 yard of you know they're like all right let's get it again let's get it again let's get it again then when they play get tired or he's running slow or he can't get through those tackles Complaints are just going to come through and they're going to be all over Twitter and everything. I can already workload. You're going to notice how he wears down. streamers too. a variety of factors such as maybe his stamina not being as good as a workhorse back or no shade. Not used to taking the amount of hits on his body. You know, if he's a guy that gets seven, eight carries a game and now you're giving him 20, he's going to wear down quicker. And there's going to be, I'm sure, a bunch of other ways that this is going to be implemented as well. But that was just one example he gave. He said there's going to be more ways to substitute because of this. And you're going to have to really be on top of that in this game so that your players aren't just wearing down and you're not abusing guys too much. Now, in terms of game modes, he said he couldn't really talk too much specifically about game modes just yet because his source does not want him revealing a lot of stuff yet. But he did touch on a couple of things. He said that a lot of effort went into those modes like Dynasty and Road to Glory. And he said that EA is banking on these modes having a lot of replay value. And he specifically mentions Road to Glory that there's going to be a lot of off the field stuff to do. He said a lot of. Oh, I like that. He also said recruiting will supposedly be deeper than the older games. Now, in which ways? He said he didn't know. He just said it will. See, I never really got into uh, the recruitment and stuff like that. It's going to be very interesting to see how they do the NIL. Not nearly what it's going to be in this game. 
so those are two really big examples of how yeah that's facts deeper, but he said that they know what the community wants with this game and they brought in a lot of people from the community people from the revamp team, and that's good right there the team. It's, it's always good to have the community uh listen to the community feedback this is not a game that they're pushing out there as like a starting point or a foundation game where things are going to be a little shallow but be built up with the years to come. He said that's not how they're approaching it and that's not how they're selling it. They're selling I love that. Fully fledged game. Obviously they're going to keep building on it because it's going to be a yearly release. They're going to keep adding things. He said maybe not every little single detail that you wanted is going to be in this release, but the game is not going to feel shallow. It's not going to feel like a watered down version of the older games. It's going to feel like a fully fledged release with a lot of replay value hey that that is what's up right there play for online dynasty he said it will be coming it's probably not going to happen this year but he said okay the focus for ea was to get the game i mean that's that's okay right above everything else and he said look i know a lot of people when it comes to gameplay especially with ea and even some of the modes he said you know people have been burned in the past or people don't fully trust ea and he said you know I yeah I, I can understand it he said that's what their focus was for this but some of the good points are just sure playing non-existent first before they just throw it into dynasty because really with this game the last thing you want to see is cross play having some type of crazy bug and then it just messes up all yeah the yep that that's a yeah and really hurt this game. and that's that's like I, I i love the cross play like aspect because i remember when when madden uh when the rumors is going around i was sorry for that but looking back at it it's like it's it could cause a lot of problems because now you're like the server wise oh my goodness and it's never and people i've seen people say well why don't they just fix the servers it's not that easy servers when you're playing an online game servers or lag or stuff is going to it's going to happen all right there's there's not a way to a hundred percent not have any servers go down not have any it's it's going to happen it's just that's just how it is so yeah, just one put that out there. Game very badly. So we have good dynasty, we have online dynasty, but you just can't cross play as of right now. But it is something that's gonna come probably sooner rather than later. He also mentioned that this game is going to feature a lot of equipment that won't be in Madden. He said some of it mm, equipment, okay. On this channel, the NFL has a lot of strict guidelines when it comes to yeah. the uniform policy. So if it's something that goes against the uniform policy, they're likely not gonna let it in Madden, at least in the you know, regular team version of Madden. Maybe if you're playing in the yard or something like that. Like yeah, probably like in the yard. Like those game modes like that, they probably have it. Like the, um, what was it? The roll-up shirt that he showed uh, in the last one? It's not in Madden. Some of it will carry over the stuff that's allowed, but you're going to see the stuff that isn't allowed be in this game. And another tidbit that he dropped that was interesting, he said that from what he understands, there is no ESPN license for the game. He said mm. that for EA was that if the ESPN license is in the game, ESPN will have say over how they're presented in the game, similar to how the NFL oh. And they didn't kind of want to deal with that. They want to do it the way they want. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, so that's why ESPN's not... I mean, that makes sense. I mean, from a consumer side, yeah, you, know, you, you want to see it. But from a business side, I mean, of course, if you're putting yourself into a game, you will want to represent yourself the best way and have it and have the game project yourself in a ideal way a perfect a perfect way i guess you could say i mean it sucks but i understand it, it sucks they don't want to have to answer to another corporation and i think that is an important thing with this game the less people ea has to answer to the more creative they yeah with things now he did also say later in the video Facts. That last time the deal was up for renewal espn didn't agree with a new deal with ea anyway if i heard him right that's what he said so it, it could just be a, a matter of also ESPN just not agreeing to, you know, whatever amount of money EA is offering them. It could be, you know, a business related thing. But he said that obviously you're still going to have the ESPN commentators. They have the rights to the likeness of the ESPN commentators. But you're just Which, hey, that's that's really a, what a lot of people just wanted. To me, it isn't the biggest deal in the world as long as the presentation is good. Yeah, the presentation has got to be A1. To make it feel A1 like plus plus. The actual presentation itself. I can't wait to see the college game day trailer. Current gen football game from EA. Current gen meaning the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. Ah, uh -huh, it is. Consoles. 
Now some people still refer to that as next gen, but that it's current gen now. I never thought of that. And he said this is the first truly current gen game. It is the first current gen. Madden still comes out on last gen, and I believe Madden 25 is also still going to be releasing on last gen. And that does kind of hold it back a little bit. He said this game is still going to be released on last gen. Of it being on those consoles, and with that in mind, they're able to really push the boundaries of the systems. They're able they're able to do some things that maybe they can't completely do with Madden, even though the current gen version of Madden does have a lot of differences at this point than last gen's version when you still have to consider last gen number one that takes development time and hours and resources even though it is kind of mostly copy and pasted at this point you still have to consider and, and put time in this okay um there. the copy and paste thing um i understand what he was getting at but from my understanding like it's still a case because the PlayStation 4 hardware is very underpowered nowadays i mean it's always been on i mean playstation xbox always has been underpowered compared to say a pc but but with like going back supporting the older gen and the newer gen it does hold you back because there's certain maybe textures or or stadiums or certain light certain light uh lightning that lights ugh, i don't know why i can't speak certain lights or just certain areas where maybe you have a, the footage for it's in the playstation 5 or it's in the new xbox or the current xbox but then trying to like dumb it down in a way for the ps4 and and the old xbox is just like like, ugh, it's it work and you have to it could be a lot of work how the game is running and things like that i believe but with this they've only for the last few years focused on this being on the latest consoles so you're going to see the game play a little bit better you're going to see the game look a little bit better than madden because it's only been focused for those systems and honestly that's a really good thing we're going to get a game here that is going to be maybe the best football game ea's ever released if it's on point if there's no major issues i don't see yeah why. probably be their best football game ever but they have to nail everything you know they can't have it's for sure one of the most hyped football games i've ever seen now, if you want to know more about some specific things that we saw in the trailer. Wow, that, that was a lot. Um, The equipment thing is what we caught my eye. Uh, We know uh, NFL has certain, you know, rules. About but yeah, like it's the gameplay is to me, it's going to feel a lot looser, a lot more. Oh, I can do this. Like, I feel like anything that you got in your mind that you like, can I do it? You probably can do it in, in, in this college football. I mean, I feel like this is going to be one of the best uh football games, Uh, you know, so high hopes, high expectations. Um, But I'm not too worried about this. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not, I'm just not a worried person about it. You know, when it comes out, if it, if if I see things I don't like, okay, I'll point it out. But like, I, I like the teaser trailer. I like that they're going all out on on the the opening, the the presentation of, of the whole college football atmosphere. It's such a different thing. So I like that. Um, and I can't wait to see more. But that's gonna do it for me, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this reaction. Love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.